yeah, as we discussed earlier, let's take an example. If there is a scenario where we are introducing a new product, which is, and for which we do not have any sales history uh, available in our system, right? But we want to start with its forecast, determining the forecast for it. So one option is uh, clients normally tend to get tentative estimates from different departments and then come up with the aligned forecast. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. But from demand function perspective, one of the way what SAP has also introduced and which you would have also seen in earlier planning tools like APODP, uh, where you can use life, life cycle profiles, like profiles in APODP terms to tag the reference material, which has a similar properties like uh, the new material so that you can at least guide the system to refer the sales history of the reference material and generate the statistical forecast, right? That is just a starting point for us uh, from the demand planning perspective. Eventually, uh, it will be discussed within the different departments during the SNOP discussions and he will come up with the final consensus demand, right? But from demand function perspective, to get a start, uh, this functionality can be used. Right. So what, what do we need to set up from the system perspective? Right. So let's go through that first and see if uh, what are the parameters that can be utilized here. So you can see manage product lifecycle. This is a specific theory app provided by SAP. I think it will be still under demand planning uh, tile. Right. You can create uh, the new assignments within this tab or within this Fury app, right? Where you can say add single product assignment or you can also add multiple product assignments here, right? Uh, let's go to the existing one, which was created for the demo, right? So let's say in this example, 12131 is a new product, which we are launching uh, from the specific period. Now, since we do not have sales history for that, but there is a similar product, which was already stable in the market, and we want to utilize its sales pattern, for determining the forecast for the new material. So how we can do that? Within this specific app, you can do the assignment of the product, right? So you create a material or maybe an ID with a new, new material number, and then you mention the reference material here in this case. If you want to also mention that there are multiple materials which represents or whose sales history can be represented cumulatively, then you can have multiple reference materials assigned here. And you can also mention the weightage in terms of percentage here, right? In this example, we are saying that if there is a one-to-one -one match, one-to-one-three-one material can be referenced from the sales history of existing material, one to one to one. Okay, and that's why we have mentioned 100% of assignment here, right? Plus, if I go to the forecast dates, let's see if there is any curve mentioned. We, in this example, we haven't done anything, right? And you are also mentioning which sales history this reference material is going to be used for, right? And for what historical periods. You can also simulate that pattern here. Right? I think for the delivered quantity, there was no data. Maybe let's try to identify the <laughs> key figure. Delivered quantity adjusted.
one quick question yeah Good. the periodicity what is yeah. the storage level means this one yeah this one right i i come back to that point yeah. to excel so when we define the planning area When we define the planning area, what we had done was we had copied from SAP IBP planning area, okay. which is our unified planning area. SAP provided unified planning area. Okay. What SAP does is in this sample of starting starting point planning area what is the minimum level at which the data can be stored that can be day what can be the next level at which the data can be stored or displayed is technical week the next level would be calendar week the next level would be month and then quarter and then year right so what sap says is this planning area will have a time profile which will have periodicity this is called periodicity at which the data can be stored or displayed okay that means there could be some key figures f1 which will have base planning level even at tail table there could be some key figures which can have base planning level at technical week level right this is a base planning level that means at this level the data can be stored however you can aggregate it don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap video at any cumulative levels you can say meaning that if there is a key figure which has base planning level of day which is the lowest level you can aggregate it at any level technical week level calendar week level month quarter and year however for this example if the key figure has base planning level of technical week this is the lowest level of periodicity where the data will be stored you will not have a flexibility for this key figure to display the data in days so if you remember the our examples what we said there are sndp related key figures like statistical forecast consensus demand local demand plan global demand plan where the data will be stored at lowest level of technical week only for those key figures you will not have flexibility to display the data at day level and which is not expected right because we are talking about sndp the next question can come up which is then why do we have some key figures provided in this unified planning area which is at a day level now in this example probably you are also implementing demand sensing where you want to review the variations in the demand uh, in a day level and come up with a demand sensing output which can be uh, used as a input for sndp right so that's why these are the periodicities available in our unified planning area right and that's why this periodicity name comes up that you can you can utilize the uh, period and review the data for that specific key figure now actuals perspective since it's an sndp related key figure the data would be stored at a minimum level of technical week only not at a day level right however i mean you can configure a new key figure which is actual sales history and assign a day level base planning level also in in case if you want to bring it at a lowest level of uh, day level of information that is also possible sap provided example it's at technical week level but if based on your client needs if you want to 
display the actuals per day and want to do the forecasting also in the day level, then you can create those key figures at a base planning level of day. That flexibility is available. 